Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. U.S. Senate recognizes the genocide against Armenians. Call to all Armenians and the government of Western Armenia. Ankara condemns and rejects U.S. Senate recognition of the genocide against Armenians. Armenians who are in a shot monastery and the Karas wine vessels among Europe's most endangered heritage list. The U.S. Senate has passed 150 the Genocide Against Armenians resolution. The resolution identical to a measure adopted 405 to 11 in the U.S. House in October officially rejects Turkey's denials of its genocide against Armenians, Greeks, Assyrians, Chaldeans, Syriacs, and other Christian states. Passage of the resolution spearheaded by Senators Robert Menendez and Ted Cruz marks the first time that the Senate has organized the genocide against Armenians. The genocide resolution notes that the U.S. has officially recognized the genocide against Armenians through a filing with the International Court of Justice, followed by the House legislation adopted in 1975 and 1984, and President Ronald Reagan's proclamation in 1984. The resolution results that it is the policy of the United States to come the genocide against Armenians through official recognition and remembrance, reject efforts to enlist, engage, or otherwise associate the U.S. government with the denial of the genocide against Armenians or any other genocide, encourage education and public understanding of the facts of the genocide against Armenians, including the U.S. role in the humanitarian relief effort and the relevance of the genocide against Armenians to modern-day crimes against humanity. For the fourth time, Senator Robert Menendez and Senator Ted Cruz issued a call for unanimous consent for Senate adoption of the Genocide Against Armenians resolution. None of the senators objected. The previous attempts were blocked by the Republican senators. The House of Representatives adopted a similar resolution on October 29. Let us introduce the full text of the Senate resolution. Expressing the sense of the Senate that it is the policy of the United States to commemorate the genocide against Armenians through official recognition and remembrance. Whereas the United States has a proud history of recognizing and condemning the genocide against Armenians by the Ottoman Empire from 1915 to 1923 and providing relief to the survivors of the campaign of genocide against Armenians, Greeks, Assyrians, Syriacs, and other Christians. Where is the Honorable Henry Morgenthau, United States Ambassador to the Ottoman Empire, from 1913 to 1916, organized and led protests by officials of many countries against what he described as a campaign of race extermination, and on July 16, 1915, was instructed by United States Secretary of State Robert Lansing that the department approves your procedure to stop Armenian persecution. Whereas President Woodrow Wilson encouraged the formation of Near East Relief, charted by an act of Congress, and the Senate adopted resolutions condemning the massacres. Whereas Raphael Ramkin, who coined the term genocide in 1944 and who was the earliest proponent of the United Nations Convention on the Prevention and Punishment of the Crime of Genocide, invoked the Armenian case as a definitive example of genocide in the 20th century. Whereas as displayed in the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum, Adolf Hitler on ordering his military commanders to attack Poland without provocation in 1939 dismissed objections by saying, who after all speaks today of the annihilation of the Armenians, in this way setting the stage for the Holocaust. Whereas the United States has officially recognized the genocide against Armenians through the May 28, 1951, written statement of the United States government to the International Court of Justice regarding the Convention on the Prevention and Punishment of the Crime of Genocide and Proclamation issued by President Ronald Reagan on April 22, 1981 and by the House Joint Resolution 148, 94th Congress agreed to April 8, 1975, and House Joint Resolution 248, 1918th Congress agreed to September 10, 1984, whereas the Elie Wiesel Genocide and Atrocities Prevention Act of 2018 establishes that the prevention of the atrocities is a national interest of the United States and affirms that it is the policy of the United States to pursue its wide strategy to identify identify, prevent, and respond to the risk of atrocities by strengthening diplomatic response and the effective use of foreign assistance to support appropriate transitional justice measures, including criminal accountability for past atrocities. Now, therefore, be it. 
Considering the fact that the charter introduced by the Turkish government, which contradicts the previous five patriarchal electoral charter and also the laws and treaty and the international obligations of the Turkish government as a whole, considering that Turkey puts under question the full validity of the laws and treaty, the Vienna Convention on International Treaties is obsolete in this regard. Article 60.2. A gross violation of the treaty by one of the parties to a multilateral agreement gives the right to the other parties to suspend the operation of the treaty in a whole or in a part or terminate it entirely. We therefore call on the government of Western Armenia to declare articles invalid. Article 37 to 45 of Section 3 of the Treaty of Lausanne and to apply Articles 1 to 8 of the Additional Protocol pursuant to Article 93 of the Peace Treaty with Turkey signed in service on August 10, 1920, relating to the protection of religious and ethnic minorities ratified by Western Armenia on June 24, 2016. The additional protocol was signed by the British Empire, France, Italy, Japan, main allied powers and Armenia. Considering that the main allied powers recognizing Armenia as a sovereign and independent state and considering that Armenia wishes to confirm its institutions to the principles of the freedom and justice and to give a sure guarantee to all the inhabitants of the territories over which it has assumed or will assume sovereignty, parties wishing to ensure the implementation of Article 93 of the Peace Treaty with Turkey therefore for Chapter 1, Article 1. Armenia undertakes to ensure that the stipulations included in Article 2 to 8 of this chapter are recognized as fundamental laws, that no law regulation or official action is in contradiction with or in opposition to these stipulations. Article 2. Armenia undertakes to provide all residents with full and complete protection of their lives and their freedom regardless of birth, nationality, language, race, or religion. Article 3. Armenia undertakes to recognize the provisions that the main allied powers may consider appropriate for the voluntary or mutual emigration of persons belonging to ethnic minorities. Article 4. All Armenians will be equal before the law and will enjoy the same civil and political rights regardless of the race, language or religion. Within two years after the entry into force of this treaty, the government of Armenia will present to the main allied powers a draft electoral system taking into account ethnic minorities. Differences in religion or creed should not be prejudiced any Armenia with regard to the exercise of civil and political rights. There will be no restrictions against the free use by Armenians of any language either in private or commercial relations in matter of religion, press or publications or in public meetings. Despite the establishment by the government of Armenia of an official language, Armenian citizens should be given appropriate opportunities to use their language orally or in writing. Article 5. Armenian citizens belonging to ethnic, religious or linguistic minorities should enjoy the same treatment and the same legal and factual guarantees as other Armenian citizens. They have the equal right to create, direct and control at their own expense charitable, religious and social institutions, schools and other educational institutions with the right to freely use their language and their religion. On this occasion, as the descendants of the Council of Armenians of Constantinople and Western Armenia, we officially announce that we will restore the Patriarchate of Constantinople and Karin, temporarily having residence in Switzerland. Council of Armenians of Constantinople Phil and Carrier first responded to the adoption by the U.S. Senate of a resolution recognizing the genocide against Armenians from the presidential administration. Turkish President spokesman Ibrahim Kalin has stated that they condemn and reject the battered historical understanding which serves small political accounts. This resolution cannot affect Turkey's legal and decisive position in the political, military and economic spheres, Kalin wrote on his Twitter page. Turkish Foreign Minister Mevlut Çavuşoğlu has also called the U.S. Senate's decision a political performance. He wrote that this decision had no legal force. Those who serve history to political aspirations and those who do not want to be confrontated are cowards. Chavushoglu wrote on Twitter. Orenashat Monastery in Armenia's established province and Karas traditional Armenian wine vessels have been named among Europe's 40 most endangered heritage sites. The final list of seven most endangered heritage sites in Europe will be announced in March 2020. The most seven most endangered program launched in January 2013 is a civil society campaign to save Europe's endangered heritage. While not providing direct funding, it raises awareness, prepares independent assessments, proposes action plans to encourage public and private support. Now let us represent to your attention a song Sayad Nova Ashkarum was in Mundunis. Yes, <laughs> 
Find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.